Shazza and Jimmy G had just finished setting out about a hundred chairs when we turned up, and I wondered just how many ex potential employees might be coming. Although we knew that the Chrono Guard had employed about three thousand, it wasn't known how many came from which era, and indeed the covering letter attached to the summaries indicated that the letters of destiny were only for the Swindon branch of the Time Workers Union. This is Friday, I said, introducing Friday to them both. Jimmy G, you would have worked together, and Shazza, you and Friday would have. We know what we would have been, thank you, Mum. They shook hands and looked at each other shyly. In another timeline, they would have been lovers and inseparable, but in this one, their future was considerably bleaker. Shazza marries a clot named Biff, and Friday spends his life in the slammer. It wasn't the sort of circumstances in which romance could blossom, really. Unless found in the pages of a Farquit novel, in which case all would doubtless turn out well.